you know, I just always wanted to be a nurse. I started out in alcohol and drug treatment unit uh, at, at University Hospital. I was there for probably two years, and then I went to the operating room, uh, stayed there a long time, uh, inpatient and outpatient, um, and then I went to hospice and worked for about eight years in hospice, which led me here. Um, we had a lot of patients who were dying from drug addiction, a lot from alcoholism, and I decided I wanted to see them get better instead of taking care of them when they were dying. I have a child in recovery. She uh, just celebrated five years of recovery, um, so it's very near and dear to me. I've never worked with as many people in recovery as I have here. Um, they understand the process. They understand the heartache and the emotional piece of it. Um, they've taught the people who aren't in recovery, but you know, everybody has a tie to a recovery here. Well, you know, it's, it's incredibly wonderful having a medical director who's so involved um, that you see every day. He comes and brings along his residents or his fellows. Um, and I mean, they're here every day. They may see five, six patients every day and it's not for 15 minute checkups. It's 30 minutes and 45 minutes. It's, it's truly trying to figure out the medical regimen and what's gonna help the patient move through because a lot of them have dual diagnoses. Um, you know, they're just not suffering from addiction. You know, they, you know, a lot of them have bipolar disease or depression. Um, so the two pieces of the clinical and the medical together is working. The nurses are seasoned psychiatric nurses. They're all from this area and they've worked in the psychiatric field. Everybody was so excited when the bluff opened um, because everything else is institutionalized around here. You know, it's, um, it's a different type of nursing. Um, there's more an emotional side to it. The choices they have to make coming in here, whether they're gonna lose their job, lose their family, um, are they going to get to see their children again? You know, those are real concerns that you have to work through with patients. Um, and just forming the emotional bond with them that they'll listen to you enough to say, maybe it's going to work, let's try, um, is, is the biggest hurdle about deciding to come here. If you could express to people the relief they're going to feel, when they finally make the decision and how much better it feels, um, it's worth that piece.